So, you know, normally we have our thumb near the edge. Well, you need to plan to kind of map to angle maybe your hand a little bit up into the keys. So when you, when you come over, now your thumb is ready for the um, D sharp. Instead of having to do this, and then having to reach up and kind of pull your hand up. Can you do it back to back to back to back without a beat in between? Da, 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 da. Make a groove with it. Okay, good. As a fourth above high, uh, the treble C. So yeah, F, yeah. G sharp. B. G. There's space in between the chords, but not intentionally short. So one, two, three, four, one, da, 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 one, two, three, four, one, da, 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 one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, nice job going into that ending and then it'll click and there won't be no confusion of, you know, what is this ending? Where does it start? Yeah. So, but that is technically this ending starts the last two measures. So that's why I made this note on here. Yeah. This, is, this is the ending right there. Okay, great. That's where the ending starts. So then you can, when you get to that, then you can just look at this and then just play through that. And you know there's no lyrics there during the transition. And then you know that you have the final phrase again. There. Okay. Yeah, you need, we need a little bit more action, a little bit more pop, especially off of those uh, staccato notes. Um, and when we do this um, on the accent, uh, we don't want to use just our thumb. Make sure you drop in with your arm and let it flow. And we need more um, action on those. So you're coming off of the scale line here. Push, pushing off and then you're above the keys. And you, so what's happening is you're kind of keeping your hand right on top of the keys. That, instead of, yeah, so let's, uh, okay, make repeat. I would have said the chords in repeated oh. region don't match. Just don't worry about that. It should okay. fix it. Close. Okay, now, okay, ooh, okay, so now we have to uh, fix that, uh, that, that chord symbol there. Which one, uh, this one? Yeah, which is go to the second block. And then uh, let's type in F7 sharp five. Okay. okay. And then just click outside of that. There we go. Yeah, that's it. All right, so let's, uh, let's just listen 
to listen to that, to start from the beginning, and we'll just go through that part. Da 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 da. So it actually doubles up that second part. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, that's tonic. E is tonic. Da -da. You can hear it kind of fall to tonic to do. Da 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 da. Um, you always want to know where do is and where so is. Do, so, do, and then. Oh, it's, okay, sorry, I didn't even hear that. It, uh, like it like that, like it like that. So it's twice that last part. Okay, first thing should be it's a major seven interval. So you know it's a major seven type chord, or most likely. And then so you can basically bypass the G and the D in the right hand. Now you just gotta figure out how the C fits fits into the mix. Uh, e flat major thirteen. There we go. Very good. <laughs> 